guys, welcome back to the page. Um, thank you for being here today. As you can see, I'm back in my car. I've just been enjoying doing some car um, videos, videos in my car lately. So I decided to get ready today, get out of the house, drive to the beach. It's raining here in Vancouver, as you can possibly hear. And yeah, I just wanted to um, come on here and share a message sitting in my car. So. I think it's good to get out of the house, especially, you know, for those of us who work from home and everything can be delivered to us. And I think it's just good to, um, you know, just get ourselves to get out of the house. So, yeah, I'm going to share a message with you guys today on doing the will of the Father. And basically, uh, if you feel led to, to pray on, are you doing the will of the Father or are you doing extra things that he never told you to do? Or are you being persuaded by other people to do things that you is not the will of the Father and he's not called you to do? Even in his name or for the kingdom and stuff like that. So I had a dream. Hold on, let me just fix myself here. So I had a dream um, and I have gotten a lot of prophetic dreams, but I'm, I am working on um, understanding them fully. So for this dream, um, this was, I had this on the weekend. It was on a Saturday morning. I had the dream and in the dream, it was also a Saturday morning. So, um, I've been really taking the Sabbath really seriously and my rest very seriously. As you guys might know, um, you know, Friday evening, I stop working Saturdays. I'm not working Sundays. I'm not working. And Mondays I try to give myself sometimes half of the day off um, because of what I've been going through with recovering from this fatigue basically for the last eight months I've been asking the Lord to just strip back every single thing that I'm not supposed to be doing when it comes to ministry work I've tried to just lay down everything and say like if you don't even want me to do this anymore just take it from me um, so I've been really trying to be very mindful of what he wants me to do and what he doesn't want me to do and I've really been finding the number one thing he's been telling me to do is rest and to say no to things that he never even called me to do. Um, but it can be hard to remember that when I think when other people are asking you for things or, or asking you like to do things that are kingdom work and stuff like that. So then you kind of feel like you can't say no because it's for the kingdom. Um, and I showed you guys this before, but I think a month ago, this was my one a mil, one of my million confirmations of resting my little koala bear and i have it in my bible as my bookmark so anyways um so this is the dream in my dream i am woken up in my bedroom i'm asleep on saturday morning wearing my eye mask i'm woken up to people coming into my bedroom um and letting themselves into my apartment, letting themselves into my bedroom, climbing onto my bed, and then eventually this person climbed onto my legs and were sitting on my legs and like leaning and looking at me. Um, they were talking to me, but it was very casual. It was this like, we were just having a conversation and it was no problem. They were very comfortable just coming and sitting on my bed and sitting on my legs basically like they were sitting on me um and then this was a per this is a person that I actually know in waking life um and they had with them two other people who I didn't recognize they were two guys and um yeah so I was I kind of said like oh it's like my day off it's like I was pretty disheartened I was like it's my day off it's my sabbath like why am I being woken up so early in the morning? And I looked at the time and it was 7.22 on the clock. Uh, and I, that's too early for me to be waking up on my day off. So, um, but I was extremely gracious. I was so gracious, overly gracious, that I was just like, you know what? Even though I was kind of like, hmm, it's kind of weird. You just let yourself into my apartment, into my bedroom, climbed onto my bed, and now you're sitting on my legs and you're asking me for things. Um, but I still felt like, you know what? I like helping people, so I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll help. Um, I noticed that the guys that were in the dream, they were uh, they didn't take their shoes off, so there was grass all over my floor. So I was like, that's pretty rude. Um, and then I thought that was in 
kind of like inconsiderate like I'm like oh that's kind of inconsiderate and then I went out of my bedroom went into my kitchen and there was a girl in there who I also know in waking life and she was cooking at my stove um, it wasn't like she was like cooking for me she was just using my kitchen and again I kind of felt like wow that's kind of like it's nice that you're cooking but a little bit confusing that you feel that comfortable to let yourself into my kitchen and take out my food and just make yourself at home um, but what I really felt was that all these people were very very comfortable asking me for things but there was a major entitlement it was like there was just this entitlement that and an expectation that I'm just expected to help with all of these things and to do all these things um, and again I didn't feel like I was supposed to because I was like well it's my it's my Sabbath and like why am I being woken up early in the morning especially because um, I with what I've been going through with recovering from fatigue I I need extra sleep um, but I was really gracious to them so um, yeah and then they also asked me to borrow like my electric guitar which I don't even have an electric guitar but it was my brother's guitar in my dream which he also does not have an electric guitar um, so yeah the overall theme was like whoa like no boundaries no privacy um, and barging in and making yourself at home and just yeah um, so yeah then uh, I actually woke up in real life and then uh, I'm doing my thing the dream comes to my mind and usually when a dream comes back to me or comes back to me multiple times I know that I'm supposed to pay attention to it so the Lord had been showing me even a couple days before like you need to really put your boundaries up and really guard yourself and I've called you to a season of rest so that's that um, and then I had that dream so I'm like okay Lord like yeah I see you I will be mindful of that um, but then I noticed that I remembered that the time was 722 on the clock which I feel like that's also very specific um, so what came to mind right away was Matthew so I'm like maybe Matthew 722 so I look up Matthew 722 and it's not the scripture you know it's not the scripture before it's not the scripture after it's Matthew 722 it says many will say to me on that day Lord Lord did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles um, so yeah I think that's that's pretty straightforward when it comes to um, that scripture I think it's hard to envision in real life that someone that people would be doing things in the name of the Lord but the Lord was not even involved in it um, and so yeah I was praying on what the Lord meant by this and um, I felt that he was giving me this interpretation and then the other day I also asked again I don't really listen to prophetic words on YouTube right now I've just been taking a, a break from them just haven't felt led to listen to them um, here and there I will but um, then I asked the Lord I'm like I really want to listen to a message right now I want to listen to a word is there a word that I can listen to and um, the first video that came up was from Kay Nash and she's a prophet and I've I've listened to her many times in the past and she basically had a word that was very similar to what I'm sharing right now and this was her word for February um, and I got this word just a couple days before February so um, she basically was saying in it like February is a month of elevation and that there's all this weight um, this kind of like dead weight that's on you from from people like grabbing and asking for things and putting things on you and sometimes it's even ourselves she was saying maybe it's an action that we're doing that's not fruitful and the Lord basically doing things that the Lord never even told us to be doing and then she's like once that's lifted off you elevate because you can float so it's like a hot air balloon is what her analogy was and then she had another analogy um, uh, in here and I don't remember exactly what the bug was that she was talking about but she said that there was this it wasn't a maggot I can't remember what it was but it was something that has the appearance of a caterpillar so you think it it's, has potential to turn into a butterfly but actually um, it it doesn't because <laughs> it's not a butterfly and I feel like I can't remember now because I listened to the word a few days ago but I feel like she said something like it it's kind of eats away at um, it eats away at your fruit or whatever it was um, yeah I, I can put the word below I'll link the word below but basically when I heard it it was just such a confirmation as 
what the Lord, I feel what the Lord was saying to me in that dream. Um, so it can be on one end, it can be on kind of the receiving end, or it can be on the other end where it's like, number one, are we doing things that in, in the Lord's name, so seemingly good, seemingly for the kingdom, that God was like, I actually never told you to do that. I never even told you to start a podcast. Um, I never told you to start, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't even tell you to start that business. Um, or on the other end, it can see, be more subtle than that where other people are asking you for things constantly or asking you to collaborate or uh, asking you for favors or asking you to do all these kingdom things, which they're not bad, but it's just that the Lord never even told you to do those things. Um, and so, yeah, I didn't, I knew that, well, obviously I can't say hundred percent, but I didn't feel that the Lord was telling me that the things that I'm doing when it comes to work or ministry are things he's not called me to do because in the last eight months since I got sick, um, I have given everything back to the Lord and asked him like, Honestly, if you don't want me to be doing YouTube, if you don't want me to be doing a podcast, if you don't want me to be doing coaching, like here's my businesses. I've been like stripped down to, you know, I don't, it's not nothing, but I've been, I've been stripped back. Um, so yeah, I've been like, here, take everything, take it all, take everything. I don't want to be doing anything that's not your will. So that was pretty easy for me to do. Um, but then when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> uh, yeah, when it comes to other people, I guess putting other putting things on me, um, or just expecting me to do things, and me thinking like, oh, I kind of have. I guess I have to do it because it's for the kingdom. Um, yeah. So I don't really know what boat you sit in if you sit in one of those, but I just really encourage you to, um, if you feel led, to pray and ask the Lord. Is there anything you're doing right now that he never even asked you to do or he wants you to give up? And I do encourage you to actually do that because honestly, just speaking frankly, you are just wasting your time if you're starting something that God is not in. Um, and also doing things that he's like, I never, I never told you to do that. I never called you to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to check my notes to see if there's anything else here that I needed to add. I just wrote down, God didn't tell you to do that. Um, a lot of, I can't read my own writing, a lot of uh, kingdom work. Um, I put, we are not, work we are doing is not the will of the Father. Well, I seriously cannot read my own writing. I don't know why I take notes because I can't even read my own writing back. Um, but yeah, so that is what I wanted to share with you guys for today. It could have... A meaning for everyone it it could just be very specific to your specific situation um, and maybe it does not apply to you but I just encourage you to pray about it and um, see if the Lord gives you any confirmation on that because obviously we don't want to be doing things in the Lord's name or that we presume is kingdom work and it is not so yeah that's my message for today thank you guys so much for watching um, and, uh, make sure to check out my husband's YouTube channel. We do share this channel, but now he has a channel where he's creating videos for men. So I will put that up here. Um, besides that, I think that's it for now. I just want to say, I really, really appreciate your guys's prayers. That is extremely helpful. Um, of all, that is the most helpful thing that I can receive right now, I think. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for liking this video, for commenting, for subscribing, and I will see you hopefully next week.